Good morning. This is Dylan Jovenet with Behind the Market. Today, I want to talk about something that has gotten bigger and bigger. It's a picture that's really unfolding, and really, most folks don't have an idea yet of what is going on. But the picture is starting to become clearer. And I think by the time it does become clear, most of the potential opportunities will be gone. While most of the world is still focused on AI, the big stuff that's happening right now really involves in the next wave of it, really called EI. And there's a revolution how AI is going to jump from EI. And I'll explain what I mean right now by that. AI is basically when you get on your computer or you get on your phone and you play with ChatGPT and it gives you these answers or whatever AI service you use, and right there you have AI. That's great. That's terrific. And that's fabulous. But EI is called embodied intelligence. And what's happening right now is that AI is jumping out of the screen and it's going to be moving into bodies, literally bodies. And that's happening right now. And not enough people are really talking about it or are able to perceive it. It reminds me of how I felt in 2023 when these weight loss drugs started to get a lot of mention among industry insiders, but the rest of Wall Street did not know what was going on yet. And of course, those stocks, we made such killer gains on them. Eli Lilly, Viking, and Ultimator, all those other ones, just hundreds of percent. Lilly was a double. So now it's literally the highest valued company out there. The same thing is happening with AI right now in its transition from AI that lives on the screen to EI or embodied intelligence. And when this started to really occur to me in talking to friends of mine that are in the tech space, and one of them said to me, why do you think so much money is being spent on data centers? He said this to me about six months ago. And I said, it's for AI, isn't it? He's like, they don't need that much data, that big, that size of a commitment for AI data centers. They need it really for EI data centers. When the AI moves from the computer, jumps off the screen, and goes into physical bodies, intelligence that is embodied, embodied intelligence. Yes, it is the AI era, but the AI era right now is about to be replaced by the EI era. And the proof of that, and when this friend of mine said this to me, he's a real finger on the pulse tech guy, I really started to consider, when you look at, and I wrote some facts and figures here, data center infrastructure is going to be expected about 400 billion dollars this year alone. Microsoft, 80 billion. Meta, 65 billion. Amazon, 100 billion. Alphabet, 75 billion. Apple, of course, part of a 500 billion dollar multi-year commitment. NVIDIA, Tesla, they're also doing the same thing. And this week, what really got my goat, we wanted to start investigating this, but there was word coming out that these data centers were so expensive that Meta was actually going to go to Wall Street and was shopping a deal to seek $29 billion in external money, funds from outside investors. Think about that. That is a big deal. That's how expensive this is. And they're building these data centers because we're about to enter a world where, again, it is not just living on your computer. AI that jumps into the regular world whether it is home aids for elderly people, whether it's for patrol dogs that are computers that are at the White House, so basically robot dogs, regardless of what it is, embodied intelligence is going to pull on the data infrastructure in ways that just dwarf what's happening here. Think about a Tesla car, an automatic self-driving car. It's reading everything around it and it's sending stuff to the satellites, pulling information, and it's processing information at much greater rates than anything out there. So to have embodied intelligence, to move from here, 
to our life, basically, you need a lot more data, a lot more compute, a lot more processing power. This is the real reason that data center expansion is happening at unbelievable rates. This is the reason that these individual companies are actually starting and signing deals to lock down nuclear power plants. Think about this. We have private companies that are getting their own nuclear power plants. So you have to start to imagine what this looks like. It all starting to come together, this next wave of AI, EI, embodied intelligence. And one of the things that we've done is we've really did a deep dive and put together a special report on what this looks like so we can help you imagine what the future looks like because it's coming. And we are still early in imagining what the future looks like. Most people don't really comprehend this. Once you get to the point where this is actually jumped off the screen, this intelligence into bodies, a lot of the money will have been made. So I'm gonna talk about this in a couple of videos, share with you what we've discovered on this journey. And I hope you get our special report on it, which we've now released. I hope you enjoy it because this is really mind boggling what the future looks like. It's really, the world is dramatically changing. It's astonishing. And in some ways a bit scary and in many ways very exciting. Anyway, I hope you check out our special report on how AI is literally moving from here to the physical world and how it's gonna change our lives. Have a wonderful morning.